Hello everybody, I'm Carol Riggs. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to give you our spring tour of Sturz and Copeland right now for 2014. Fun thing about the pansies is we planted these last fall when we planted the tulips and the daffodils. So they bloomed all winter long. Even on Mother's Day when we had that crummy weather, they were underneath snow. And look at them, they're back up, they're beautiful. Pansies love cool temperatures, they love bright sunlight, so they're wonderful for us during the off season when we can't have anything else. The peonies have been super this year. The Chinese have been hybridizing these for thousands of years, actually. But look at that, isn't that a gorgeous flower? These are beautiful clematis. These are a few different varieties that are a lighter blue color, but look at that flower. Isn't that spectacular? We love clematis. Now we've got lots and lots of hanging baskets always, but this is where we keep most of our perennials down here. A perennial is something that you plant and it comes back year after year after okay. year. A perennial is kind of the backbone of the garden right. and they bloom either spring, summer, or fall and then you add accents of annuals that bloom all season long. These are foxgloves. Foxglove, now that's a whole different one. That's a biennial. Okay. So it's usually a plant that only lasts for two years. This is a beautiful moss hanging basket. We start with a wire container, fill it with moss, put soil inside it, put plants coming out the sides as well as plants coming over the top. Our local grower, Chet Anderson, does a remarkable job of these baskets. They're full of geraniums and scaviola and verbena. They're beautiful baskets for sun. Speaking of design, we have seven full-time designers who just make up pots with different combinations of annuals. They put different textures, different plants in them, either for sun or shade. If you bring in your own container or buy one of our containers, we can pot it up for you or we already have ones potted up, but they love doing this. They love mixing plants together and you end up with a living flower arrangement for the patio or the porch for the summer and it'll give you color all summer long. This is a succulent pot. It's all mixed different succulents and we're doing so many of these. So you know, when it gets hot in July and August, these things just thrive. They do so well in our boulder climate when it's hot. These succulent gardens that Jason's bringing in right now are grown by Gully Greenhouses and they're calling them their remembrance gardens and for every single one we sell they're giving a dollar to the flood relief recovery program. Fairy gardens are all the rage right now Everybody just seems to love them. And Heidi's my person who's doing fairy garden, but she buys all of these things. Then she puts them together in planters. And when the kids come in, they go crazy. She teaches fairy garden classes and we end up with lots of little kids playing in the dirt, making fairy gardens. The thing that we love about orchids is that they're actually an easy house plant to grow indoors especially the Phalaenopsis, the ones that they look like big moths flying. They love our normal house temperatures in Boulder, normal humidity, you don't have to do anything extra to them. This is tomato land. Memorial Day is the traditional day to plant tomatoes. And we've got a super variety. We've got organic growers now that are growing special ones just for us. We've had so much fun with uh, the local honey. It's raw. He does not process it at all. He's from Larkspur and he also comes and gives classes on how to uh, how to take care of bees, how to have your own beehive. Every Friday and it, the flowers change but every Friday we do two for one Friday flowers and it's a different combo. We try to get things that go together but it's a really fun thing to come in on Friday and get your two for one Friday flowers for the weekend.